on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, guys? Picked up one of these U Tray 4 in 1 jump starter with air compressor. This is a J Star 6. I just reviewed the J Star 5 about a week ago. This is the new and improved to jump starter, an air compressor, a power bank, and it has an LED light. It has a 59.2 watt hour battery, lithium. Jump star output it says 12 volts, but I believe it's 14. USB 1 is the multi voltage, multi amperage output. USB 2 is a 5 volt, 2.4 amp. USB C output is a 5 volt, 2 amp, and 9 volt, 2 amp. The car socket is 12 to 16 volts, 8 to 10 amps. And the air compressor is up to 150 psi. Another nice carrying case it comes with. Dual zipper with a handle. Multilingual user's manual. Seven to nine hour charge time. 1385 grams. Comes with the little air fittings for blowing off stuff or filling up sport balls. Your jump cable connectors. USB charger. Power supply not included. It has a much nicer design than a J Star 5 had. No rocker switch. We'll try a car tire this time. Hold that to turn the air on and off. Long press to turn the light on. Pretty bright light. Looks like about a 20 inch hose. J Star 5 I liked a lot. I think the only gripe I had with it was the very short jumper leads that they give. It seems like most of them do. There's where you plug in your booster cables. This is the same price as the J-Star 5 was too. They just reduced the price. And here's your USB out and your charging ports. Here's your socket, 12 volt cigarette socket or car socket. I'm that old. USB-C connector. Let's see if it does fast charging on my Samsung. Yep, fast charge. Oh, very nice. Not only is it fast charge, but it shows the wattage drawing on the output. Very nice upgrade. Let's see. Let this charge, and then we'll do some more tests. Yep, she's dead. Yeah, it's boosting. 16 volts. So I'm going to put the 100 amp on it. Oh, it's over a thousand. It is actually putting out more than a thousand according to that gauge it'd be up around 1300 amps but I mean that's a weak battery so that's kind of not a good gauge so this is a J star 5 and that's a J star 6 so this is a little bit smaller not much ever so slightly But the case is definitely different. Let's 
try it on my Jeep. This one might be low. I haven't started it since before winter. The old CJ. Before I hook this up, we'll see how the battery is. Then we'll hook up that booster and see how that does. Oh yeah. Perfect, it's dead. Guess we'll see how it works now. I didn't realize it was dead. I noticed this works without even turning this on. Little bit longer cables, guys. Little bit longer cables would be nice. Yeah. Let it charge up a bit. That battery is pretty bone dead. What's up, Gizmo? Old CJ7. Can we try it? Let's try it. What are you doing, Kenny? Wow. It's actually working. Oh. It was working until that thing kicked off. This battery must be really bad. That thing was really working. Let's try it again. This takes a while because I, I think it's the lifters got to get pumped up. Huh? See the difference? Pulling that battery down. Let's try it again. Usually it does start, but this thing's been sitting. Probably overloading because that battery's not doing any work at all. Yeah. I don't know why this thing starts so hard after it sits a while. So, and these cables are a little warm. So does it work? You tell me. It definitely works. You can hear the difference too. I'm going to let this warm up a bit. Guess we'll let some air out of this tire. Let's see how much pressure we have right now. 27. Let's set this to 27. Let some air get out of her. 44% battery. Let's see how she does. And I guess that was at 6. That's six pounds, you can see how long it takes to pump up. I'm getting ready to shut off. And that's it, 27. T 27 pounds and we're at 27% battery. So filled up a, this tire from 6 pounds to 27 pounds. And I'll calculate the minutes. These are 33 by 12 and a half, 15 tires. The hose got a little warm. Nothing else is really warm. So 
So in an emergency, is this any good? <laughs> I'd say yeah. Crank this motor over really, really good. You heard it. I was telling my son those BMWs don't come with a spare tire. So you can throw a can of Fix-A-Flat in there, which will probably get you where you got to go. But wouldn't it be nice to have one of these with a tire plug kit and just put it in the back? They come with run-flat tires, but most people change them out. There's not run-flat tires on them anymore. So yeah, I think it, it does exactly what it claims. I'll put links down below if you want one. Discount codes along with it. And thanks for watching, guys. If you got any other ideas that you want me to do with this type of stuff, let me know. And I'll make notes for my next one. Let's plug it back in and charge it back up for the next emergency. That little flashing in light comes on when it's charging. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.